Hi guys, in this video we're gonna talk about general fitting. We will make this beautiful picture in a five minutes. No, I will show you how to build these pictures in a five minutes. We call this stage general fitting. But why it's important? Because we wanna speed up all our workflow. We want to finish our project not in the weeks, we want to finish our projects in a day. And for this, we have to build some strategy how exactly we work with each product. So I will try to show you how exactly we're doing that. So welcome to Rendercam. Let's start. First of all, I want to show you this table. In fact, that's a simple project management. You have to follow each steps to know where you are exactly to avoid redoing some steps in the future. That's how you'll speed up your project. So first of all, discovery stage, you have to explore your project and know what exactly you have to deliver your client at the end. Then scene setup and model. So you have to prepare full your scene for the next stage general feeling general feeling that's a fast work with the main emotion of the frame lighting colors camera positions then materials if your client agreed everything you had on the general feeling you should switch to the materials and post-production and animation if you'll have it exactly in this order and as you can see inside each of these block of course you should know something and yes, this is lesson from the professional visualization course. So let's jump to our scene. That's a well-organized system. No any mistakes. Everything well with the units, everything good with the environment, no any settings, everything on their layers and only one shader on all the objects. That's really important to do that. I know that you think that Daniel, come on, what about shaders? We have shaders on the all objects. Unfortunately, you will waste way more time rebuilding shaders than creating from the scratch. And I will show you that. So let's start work with the lighting. First of all, we have to download HDRI map. I will use this map for real lighting and this map as visible lighting. Why exactly this? Because I know them. I work with them a lot of times and I know how they work. Okay, so let's close all these windows. Let's open the Corona render, interactive render, and let's start work with a single map. Of course, Corona bitmap, choose this HDRI map, move it to the material editor, and add some color correction. Usually I use general color correction. Then with the instance, move it there. Let's minimize this window for a moment. I don't need it right now. And let's move material over there. Let's start render. In a composition block, we have 90 degree rules. So I will not explain it to you, uh, but in fact, everything simple. We have to use 90 degrees between camera and light source, main light source in this scene. So that looks good. Let's make it a little bit lighter to, to could be too much, maybe 1.7. I almost never use absolutely desaturated shaders. So I want to add there a little bit of color. Not so saturated. I don't want to have it yellow. I just want to avoid absolutely cold picture. I know that I can desaturate HDRI map, I can use white balance. I prefer do it in this way. Next thing is directly visible HDRI. Of course, I will use exactly HDRI, second one I have there, and it will be 16K already. You can use even higher, maybe 24K. For this picture will be enough, this one. I will select this, duplicate. Yeah, I already downloaded, of course. This is it, okay. Let's open settings. Let's minimize them. Turn on directly visible and reflection override. And I will move this picture over there. It's right. Looks good, but too bright. Let's make it darker. I think I have to rotate it a little bit. Yeah, that looks better, but not enough color. So I will go to color correction uh, and I will add some saturation. Maybe a little bit darker and maybe even more saturated. Okay. 
in most cases i try avoid absolutely fully compressed pictures so i will save small amount of over brights i like them maybe a little bit brighter so then i work with the shaders some biggest shaders of the scene that's a uh, trees and pool if you have if you have well organized scene you can just double click on trees layer and duplicate this shader apply to the trees and let's work with this first of all of course i will change color usually we think that greenery have to be green but in fact not so more brown yellow like that Looks good, but I want to make exposure a little bit higher. And then I can make it a little bit darker and more saturated, darker and saturated. Yeah, that looks good. After this, I will turn on shell thin, duplicate this color to translucency. These numbers approximately 0 0.2 till 0 0.6, something like this. Uh, and in most cases, this color will be lighter and more saturated maybe a little bit warmer or greener something like that so as you can see that already looks good that's why it's important to rebuild the shaders from the trees because yes they have some shaders but they don't match with other shaders of the scene so for us way more important color matching than real original shaders okay that looks good after that i'm ready to work with a pool let's select water I can duplicate this shader, apply it to water, roughness 0, refraction 1, and in addition, I will use clear coat layer 2. I like the effect. After that, if you still have well-organized scene, just double-click on the pool layer and you can duplicate this shader and you will create new shader and apply it to the pool underwater surface. A little bit more saturated, I think. A little bit more blue, darker, and saturated. Okay, looks good. Next, double click on glass layer. Let's duplicate water shader, apply it to the glass. And I think we can reduce clear code because we don't need it here. After that, we are ready to color black parts. Double click on this layer, duplicate this shader, apply it. And here is a really important moment. Do not make it absolutely black make it just darker than you have because black shaders shouldn't be absolutely black you should have highlights reflections dust maybe something else on this material and in fact it doesn't look absolutely black like pure black you should have it just darker than everything else so i like this color and i think that's enough on the foreground i have pool terrace so i will select it and apply another shader of course, I'll make it a little bit darker and add a little bit color. After this, I'm ready to add grass. Let's stop render and minimize most of windows. Click on the ground or a spark. Click on the ground again. Camera clipping, no. Common panel, modifier. And I will use grass from library. Reset, layered loans grass base layer too large that's important okay okay no i will select all these elements and remove shader from them then i will go to transform and change the scale 55 and 65 let's come back to distribution and change unit scale to 16000 the last action i have to change shader so i have to go to forest templates show the items open material editor Duplicate shader I already have and apply the shader. Now I see these assets over there, so I will move them down. To be honest, in most cases, I will work with a grass shader to make it darker, but I don't know it right now, so let's start render. I like this picture. Let's make small adjustments of the tone mapping, a little bit lighter here, maybe some vignetting, maybe a little bit distorted the sky, a little bit higher exposure, a little bit higher contrast, add a little bit filmic mapping, definitely turn on bloom and glare, and I think I want to add some noise to the water, so let's do it.
fractal. Scale have to be smaller, like 180. Levels higher. And of course, way smaller intensity. If you want, we can add IO a little bit. I already told you that I like work with a little bit darker and maybe more saturated grass. So let's do that. Translucency level can be a little bit lower. So that's all. We can stop this render, open red and settings, change resolution if we need, maybe turn on denoiser, set 15 minutes render and start it. So everything done and we are ready to send this picture and discuss with the client, camera position, atmosphere, colors, whatever we need. But the question is, when you repeat after me, everything clear. But what if you will have your own project with your own situation, with a different lighting, with a different atmosphere, with a different something, when you'll have no lesson to repeat? That's why we build Renekam. That's what exactly I will teach you on the professional visualization course. Link in the description below. And if you'll have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.